the blood of the Ugandan martyrs is the seed of our faith. This is how the blood of the martyrs became life for all of us Christians here in Uganda and in most of the parts of the world. This is how they used to actually kill them and it, it, thanks to their courage and patience and endurance and trust in the Lord, the Ugandan martyrs were victorious with the Lord and invite us to be also victorious with the Lord and patient with each other in all the situations that happen to us in life. So let's never give up. Let's be patient. Even when we go through painful and bloody situations, we know we are not alone. Let's keep holding on to the Lord. He is with us. God bless you. Yeah, we have Saint Denis Sebuguayo pray for us, the patron saint of singers, musicians, and choirs. He was actually stabbed seriously, as you can see, to death. And thanks to this stabbing, we are victorious in whatever happens to us. We are victorious with Christ through the intercession of the martyrs. Here is Saint Andrew Kagwa Kahawas, who is the patron saint of teachers and catechists and families too and we see that here he was kind of chopped they chopped him and they tied him on the wood if you hear of the name omugongo omugongo means back and so they were tied on the wound that's why this place is called namugongo it means some of them were tied on the back and they were crying omugongo because the mugongo which is the back was really paining so hard but they endured all this pain so that finally life can come out of it we, are, we have St. Pontian Ngondwe, who is the patron of soldiers, policemen, and militia. Meaning the soldiers, policemen, and militia, the military, can always ask for intercession of the saints when they don't know what exactly should be done. He too was stabbed, and you see the blood, the blood of the martyrs, the Uganda martyrs, is the seed of Christianity. Thanks to this blood which was shared, we are alive, we have the good news. Saint Pontian in Dongwe, pray for us. Saint Andrew Kagwa, pray for us. And here we have another saint, Athanasius Bazekuketa, the Holy One also. And this Athanasius is also a patron saint of, uh, of the, 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 the the patron saint, the patron saint of the one in charge of finance or the treasury. So if our pockets are empty, we and if we don't know how to take good care of the money that we have, Saint Athanasius helps us to pray for us. He too was chopped off with the head and with an axe. Yes, no matter what pains we are going through, I think it cannot be compared to these matters. They went through a lot and they can teach us a lot. They can say, teach us that no matter what we are going through, it cannot be compared to these pains that they went through, to the pains that Christ went through. So we have to be to stand up and say, okay, I'm going through some uncomfortable situations, but Lord, help me to go through it. And let us ask for the intercession of those who went through heavier pains than we are going through. And let's always get up and stand up. Let's always get up and stand up and move. This is what life is all about. St. Athanasius Vasekuketa, pray for us. We are still accompanied by the pavilion where we always pray from as well, with some pilgrims also who have come, though it's not 3rd June, but pilgrims come over throughout the year to ask for the intercession of the Ugandan martyrs. God bless you, dear friends. Here we are entering near the altar where the pilgrims join up in praying during the Uganda Matters Day. The blood of the Uganda Matters is the seed of our faith. Thanks to that blood we have faith. Thanks to that blood we have Christianity. Thanks to that blood we have good news. Thanks to that blood we have forgiveness. We are forgiven, given thanks to that blood of Christ that blood of the matters. The blood of the Ugandan matters is the seed of our faith. Here we are greeting you once again at here in the Uganda matters shrine, praying for you and your families that may God strengthen you in all the crosses that you may go through. Just remember that you are not alone. 
the Lord is with us. He went through the same. Nothing that you are going through will end up as it is. It will end up in victory if we pray in Jesus' name. If we ask Jesus to accompany us in every step that we take. And when we walk alone, then life becomes heavy. But we are invited to walk with the Lord, never alone. My dear brother, my dear sister, let's remember we are following Christ. Who sympathizes with us? He went through everything that we are going through and even went through more than what we are going through. Let's call on him. Let's talk to him like a friend, like a brother. Let's entrust everything to him. Let's not pretend to solve everything alone. But let's always be with him. Walk with him. Journey with him. Tell him everything that is in our heart. And we shall realize that at the end of it all, we are victorious with Christ who strengthens us. Amen. God bless you, dear friends. I greet you once again from all these places here in uh, which accompanies us where the Uganda matters shed their blood so that you and me can have life. Nature is accompanying us also with the beautiful sounds of the birds in this holy matters. They are also celebrating the matters in their own way but also with the people who are scattered and in different places lying down praying and uh, asking for the intercession of the Uganda matters yes let's always call on the intercession of the matters dear friends they are, they are people like us and if they can make it and become victorious and saints we too can make it and become victorious and saints. That is our call in this world, to be saints, to be good people, to speak good words, to do good things to those we meet on our life. Blessings and blessings and greetings from this holy place of the Uganda martyrs, St. Charles Luanka and companions pray for us. Amen.